This model from Conrad is a Bucher Schurling Cityfant 6000 industrial road sweeper. It's mounted on a Mercedes-Benz chassis and it's in the colours of Jean Lefebvre, which is part of the French Vancy Group. It's a limited edition of only 300 models. It comes in Conrad's usual packaging and there's no instructions for the model. As usual for a Conrad truck there are bits to add to the cab and the first thing to do is to separate the mirrors and aerials from the plastic sprig. If you think your fingers are not strong enough for this you could use a knife or you could stop pretending to be a weakling and just get on with it. The main mirrors just press into holes in the side of the door but it's a little bit fiddly so you just have to press it home with your fingernail or for those that are observant the thumbnail. There's another small mirror and that just pushes in over the top of the driver's side door. After the door mirrors, the last bits to fit are the roof aerials. And sometimes, because of paint thicknesses and whatever, it can be difficult to fit the aerials. If so, then just trim a bit off using a sharp modelling knife. And then it becomes straightforward to press them into place. <laughs> Much of the detail underneath is complex and modelled in plastic. The brushes are all modelled but one compromise is that a drive shaft between the rear axle and the engine is missing. And that's because of the way the main brush has been modelled. The plastic wheels are detailed and the rest of the Mercedes cab looks good. But it's surprising that a truck in fleet colours doesn't have a number plate. The hopper is all metal with beacon lights on top. And the sweeping gear is modelled in plastic and it's detailed. Under the hopper is a nice engine block but the main exhaust pipe doesn't have a hole. At the rear the Wonder Hose is modelled but the gantry that should hold it is a fixed casting. But the painted rear lights are contrasting and look good. Driving along the sweeper truck is suitably slow and thoughtful. And if we pick it up and have a look at the chassis there's some movement in the rear axle to simulate a bit of suspension. The rear wheels turn separately, but the real plus point in terms of functionality is the steering. The range of movement is excellent, so you can pose it any way you like. And you can push it along in really quite a sharp turn. But of course this is a road sweeper, so let's have a look at the sweeping functions. And first off the main brush does rotate. And it can either park for road travel, or it can unclip and can be rotated and lowered. There's also some nice functionality built into the two rotating sweepers. They can be angled out to the side for channel sweeping and then lowered. So they pose convincingly at sweeping up all of the mess you've left behind. Another nice little touch is that the brushes themselves can be rotated using your fingers. But it will take a long time to sweep the road outside your house using it like this. When you've done sweeping and you've filled up the hopper with everything you don't like to talk about. The truck can then go and empty the hopper by tilting it. It's very stiff and Conrad also seemed to have modified this version compared to earlier versions because you can't over tilt it. There is another little bit of functionality built into the model and that's the wonder hose at the back which you can unclip. It's small and flexible and when I hold it like this it kind of reminds me of something but I just can't think what that is. When you're finished with the wonder hose it clips back into position. Anyway wait just a moment the cranes etc team are using the wonder hose. No, 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 no. The answer is no. Once again, Conrad has produced a nice little model of a road sweeper. And the Jean Lefebvre colour scheme is both interesting and attractive. The details are good and the functionality is very nice. So overall, this model is highly recommended. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.